the friends that I have, they are quality friends, okay? The friendship I have, I would cherish it for the rest of my life. You need to evaluate your surrounding and make sure that the people that you're surrounding yourself with are not people who are dragging you down. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing okay. This is our first video for 2020. Can you believe it's 2020, a new year, a new decade? I'm just so excited about this year. I don't know why, but I'm just so excited about this year. I just feel like this decade is my decade. I mean, we're about to make millions. We're about to just, you know, we're just, yeah, we're just going to be shining in this year. We'll be shining in every area of our lives, everywhere. We'll just be putting highlights everywhere. Anyways, welcome back to my channel, guys. I hope you guys are doing okay. If you're new here, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Sergine. My channel is about motivating you, becoming the best version of yourself. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Comment, like. I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. Um for subscribing to my channel i just want to use this moment to wish you a happy new year guys i wish you guys all the best and i pray that this year is going to be an amazing year for you in every area of your life so i don't want to spend too much time um chit chatting i just wanted to come on here quickly and do your weekly nugget for you this week i know i've been slacking a little bit and i apologize for that um i've not been consistent with my weekly nugget guys december was a busy month for me and it was just it wasn't realistic to do three videos a week but you know what i promise that anytime i get a moment to film a weekly nugget i will definitely film a weekly nugget and i just want to say thank you so much for everyone who subscribed to my channel i just want to say i appreciate you god bless you keep subscribing keep sharing keep telling a friend to tell a friend and let's just share the good news let the whole world subscribe to my channel <laughs> I don't know how to title this, so I'm just going to talk um, based on what I feel like God has put in my spirit to share with you guys this week. So, um, a quick background. I'm this kind of person that um, likes to give. And the way God created me, I'm just a giver. So I give everything. I give in a relationship. I give in a friendship. I give, I give. I got to a point in my life where I just felt a bit drained i felt like i was giving 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 and i wasn't receiving in return and i just got to a point where i just crushed and i was like no why am i always the one that gives 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 in every friendship in every relationship i always end up being hurt and it's always like you give you give you give you give you give and when you need something no one there to give so i, I was just feeling so down i was just feeling like I don't want to be anybody's friend. I don't want to be this person that gives, 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 gives. And I didn't want to be a giver anymore. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be straight up. I decided, you know what? I'm not going to be given anymore. If you come to me and you need something, and when I needed something, you wasn't helping me, then you're on your own, okay? I'm not going to be loyal. I'm not going to be this friend that's going to be helping you, supporting you. When it's my time for you to help me, and you're not helping me, you know what? That's it. I'm not going to be giving. I'm not going to be a giver. I decided that's it. But because I was going against who God made me to be, it was very uncomfortable. And I remember having a conversation with my really good friend and he told me, he was like, you can't change the person that you are because of people. God created you the way you are for a purpose and you can't change that. You have a bigger purpose. You have a, a bigger calling. God has created you, you and has deposited these, you know, um, 
gifts inside of you these qualities inside of you because you're going to use it somewhere along the line in your destiny you're going to use it so you can't allow hiccups you can't allow people or friends come into your life and change who you are and guys this really changed the way i saw things because i realized okay it's about me as well i can't change who i am i can't let people dictate who I should be. I need to be who God wants me to be. So from that moment, I decided, you know what? I'm not going to expect anything in return when I give something, okay? But I think the issue was, when I gave, 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 I was empty. And because I was empty, there was nothing that was coming back. I just, yeah, I couldn't give anymore. There was no fuel. I couldn't do nothing anymore. I realized what, like, I had to ask myself a question. What can I do? What I had to do was to find a way to refill myself, to find something that will help me like fill myself and not be empty when I'm giving, when I'm giving. And personally for me, it was spending time with myself. And honestly, guys, I don't have a problem spending time with myself. I love spending time with myself. So I realized that even though I'm a, a good friend and I'm a giver and I'm all this and I'm all that, I need to also find some time for myself so that I can re-energize myself, so I can... So, so I can do something that can fill me up again so I can be myself. So spending time with myself would, uh, was an amazing idea for me. I then started to make sure that I had my me time every day. I'd make sure that before I got to bed, when I wake up in the morning, whatever, I had to spend time with myself, with my thoughts. I had to listen to music music really helped me and i just felt much better so there was and i was praying i can't lie prayer really helps and i was also praying and just asking god to fill me and just focusing on god helping me becoming the better person that he wants me to be and i realized that i felt better and i didn't feel away when i was helping people anymore because i wasn't depending on them to give something back to me and that's the thing when we give people we shouldn't expect anything in return because god is blessing us with all these gifts he's blessing us with all these qualities to serve him for our purpose for our future so we can't allow people in life change who we are and i can't lie i felt so much better after that and i decided you know what i'm not going to change myself i am a giver so i am going to give i am going to give but i'm just going to find something different that's going to help me that's going to fill me up so i feel re-energized and i don't feel like i'm drained all the time and i don't feel like when i need something there's nobody there for me god was there for me the holy spirit was there for me when i felt down and drained i had to go spend time with myself with my thoughts i felt re-energized when i prayed i felt so much better so i found a, an outlet or something that was helping me re-energize and i just want to encourage you I don't know why I'm sharing this, but I want to encourage you. If you're experiencing the same thing right now, you're at a place where you're re-evaluating your circle and you feel like, you know what? I'm always a giver. I'm always giving my friends. I'm always giving my family, but I don't receive anything in return. I got you, girl. Don't worry. Don't let people change who you are. You need to focus on what God made you for. So you need to look for your purpose. Like, where are you going? And like hold on to that hold on to the to what god has called you to do hold on to that and don't allow people change you but i'm going to advise you to find a way find a way to refill yourself find a way to do things that help you things that help you you know find your energy again find your you again when you're giving to people don't expect anything in return expect god to bless you and when you're giving god is multiplying you in every other area of your life so we don't see it but it definitely will make sense in the end another thing that i I wanted to also suggest is to evaluate your life and the people that surround you that's another thing that i did so i realized that the people that i had around me were people that were just literally taking from me and they didn't care about me as a person so i had to get rid of a lot of friends and as i'm speaking to you right now i don't have a lot of friends literally i can count my good friends with my hands like literally i don't have so many friends but you know what the friends that i have they are quality friends okay the friendship i have i will cherish it for the rest of my life you do not need to have 100 friends you don't need to have 100 people at your birthday party you don't need to have 100 people turn up for you when you're doing something in your house i don't know you don't need all of that you need to evaluate your surrounding and make sure that the people that you're surrounding yourself with are not people who are dragging you down and people who are literally sucking your energy dry you need to evaluate those people make sure that the people that are around you are people who are going to give back it doesn't have to be 
they don't have to give back the same way you're giving as well i mean you know it could be in in anything in every relationship, it has to be a give and take. I mean, even with Christ, I mean, it's, it's give and take. So I'm just saying, you need to surround yourself with people who are adding something into your life. It doesn't have to be something that is materialistic. But you need to make sure that all the friends that you have around you, they're adding into your life in a very positive way. We're all human beings. We all have flaws and stuff. That's fine. But you just need to make sure that they are positive people and they are lifting you up. So I'm encouraging you again. You don't, for you to be able to see something different or to see a different result you have to do things differently so one other thing that you really need to do to make sure that you're not drained is evaluate your surrounding evaluate the friends that you're hanging around with if you need to get rid of some friends please get rid of them because right now i feel like i can actually invest because i'm that kind of a person i'm very loyal and if i if you're my friend you're my friend i'm your friend and i'm invested i will give my i would literally give my last money to my friend and right now Every time I evaluate my life and I look at the friends that I have around me, they are all worth me making the sacrifice for. So make sure that your friends and the people that you have around you, they are worth you making that sacrifice for. And you know that if you give them, you're, you're going to receive something in return. It doesn't matter what it is. Even though it's not materialistic, even if they're just there to support you or they're there to share the word with you, whatever it is, just make sure that you're taking something from them or you're exchanging some kind of like positive energy with each other so that you know that okay these people are not going to drain you so i just wanted to encourage you really i don't know why but i just felt the need to if you're finding yourself in a predicament where you feel like oh why i feel drained i'm always giving 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 i'm just advising you and challenging you this week to number one make sure you find something to help you energize yourself to fill yourself up again so that you can you know go back to being yourself don't change who you are you're a giver and god created you to be a giver for a purpose so don't change that because of people do not allow people change the person that god has made you to be and number three don't forget to evaluate your surrounding and make sure that the people that you have around you are people who are deserving of your friendship are deserving of your of um, of you giving to them that they're worth it of you making the sacrifices that you're making for anyways i hope this helped you in some in some way i just want to wish you an amazing week ahead and i pray that you're going to have a blessed week and i pray that you're going to be shining in everything that you do um yeah god bless you so much and yeah don't forget these challenges and make sure that you put them into practice i'm going to sign out now i'm going to see you in my next video god bless you for now take care bye